If you touch a stove, you can feel its temperature. We can't touch a star, so how do we find out what its temperature is? We measure the star's effective temperature. It's figured out by analyzing its spectrum, which is like a unique fingerprint of light. Hotter stars emit more blue light, while cooler stars emit more red light. By comparing a star's light to theoretical models, we can estimate the star's surface temperature. But how do we calculate this? Let's take a star that has a peak emission of 5,500 angstroms. Now we're gonna wanna use Bunn's displacement law, which basically is lambda max, so the max wavelength times T, which is your temperature, equals B, and B is the Vines constant. It is a 2.897 times 10 to the seventh, we're gonna use the angstroms unit for this one, times Kelp. Now if we wanna solve for T, what do we do? We're gonna take it as a T equals B over lambda max, and we know that lambda max is at 5,500 angstroms, and then you just go ahead and put in Vines constant, and your total effective temperature comes to 5,267 Kelvin, and that is how you find your effective temperature of the star.